Uh, just ignore my uniform. I'm not trying to jet dress up to tell the story. Like, oh my god, I gotta dress up. I actually came from work. Um, so, <laughs> which is awesome. Uh, it's interesting um, being a nurse, and you know what I'm saying? That's like all mental illness right there, am I right? And, um, and nurses are crazy. I don't care if you're here, you can agree with me. We're all crazy because of the crazy shit that we see. Did somebody just apply? Oh my God, are you a nurse? No, I work with lots of nurses. Well, excuse me, you know, you know. And okay, so, well, okay, so um, originally uh, why I wanted to become a nurse is because um, I have a sister and she's autistic. Um, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I was raised with her, I hate when people are like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's not like she just came that way. I was born, she was born before me, so that's how I knew her. I loved her, she was my older sister, you know what I'm saying? I had her and I had my two other brothers and um, she was way older than us, so you know, we did everything that she did. We didn't know, you know what I'm saying? We did everything that she did. Uh, she had like her, her things, that she, like she had uh, severe autism, so she didn't talk. We didn't talk either. Like, she would get down on the ground and rock, like, you know, regular, like, you know, autistic stuff, just the repetitive movement. So we would get out, we're like, oh my god, this is like a roller coaster! Like, it was amazing. Like, we used to do everything that she did. And, like, I remember, my, like, literally, like, uh, the doctor told us she had, she had to leave the house because we wouldn't um, develop normally if she was there. So I remember she left our house and lived in, lived in a home for autistic kids when I was uh, six years old, six years old. But I remember from that time before, we, uh, uh, our childhood was like a silent movie. Like it was so weird. We played and we did shit, but I didn't remember any talking. And I remember I told my mom, like, how come I don't remember words? And she was like, you and your brothers and your sister, none of you used to talk. You got all of you autistic. And I'm like, oh my God. So that's what my mom told me. And she's like, the doctor said, she has to leave and then you all start talking. I'm like, that's weird, but when she would come, we she used to get on the ground and rock, and instead of, you know, normal people like, oh, hi, I missed your sister, we were like, what? <laughs> that's our form of communication. <laughs> like, it's fucked up. I remember we ran away one time. We planned it. I, there was no words. We planned it. I don't know how we did that. <laughs> like, we gathered our toys, and we gathered our sister, but she was being loud, you know, making handicap noises and shit, just going, and then our aunt came and she beat the shit out of us but we did all of that but there were no words like I don't know it, it's so fucked up but that's a part of the reason why I became a nurse like I, I, I you know I, I used to take care of her like I was mainly re responsible she was like 10 years older than me but it was just so interesting uh, I used to take care of her I, but I saw her as my sister I didn't see her as you know like a handicapped person like I felt sorry for her no I saw her as my sister so it was she didn't speak but she knew uh, she treated me like a, like, you know, how a big sister would do. She treated me like shit. So, like, I went, like, I, I, I would get so mad. I'm like, oh, I have to take care of you. You know what? You're going to clean my room. I'm like, pick up this, pick up that. And she would get mad. But, like, she did it, like, uh, it's not, it's not, it's okay for me. But she did it, like, so, she was smart. Like, I thought, I thought this was hilarious. She used to touch my face and make like handicapped noise like and I'm like oh she's touching my face but then she would grab my lip like really hard and just pull and I'm like ah and she would laugh like ha 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 I'm like you're trying to kill me but like that's an amazing move it was so debilitating I couldn't move only a handicapped person can know that shit but it's awesome like if you want to destroy somebody just grab their fucking lip they can't move it's so amazing but you know it's only because I was raised um anyways I, I was raised like an autistic person. <laughs> anyway, so like, it's weird. And my dad, um, he didn't know. He didn't know how to deal with it. Like, he was really inappropriate. Jamaican people are inappropriate. I'm not gonna lie. I don't care. There's probably Jamaican people in there. Whatever. It's true. They're inappropriate. We don't know how to use the words properly. So he didn't really call her autistic. He called her retarded. I know. Um, I was raised like that. Like, we used to get down on the ground and all rock. And back then, my dad, he used to smoke a lot of weed, but he saw stopped because we used to fuck him up. Like. He would come in and we're all rocking and shit. <laughs> and he's like, oh my god, you call me retarded, Pitney? How are you retarded? It must be the weed. And I'm like, Dad, what's weed? You should join in. Um, <laughs> so like it was really inappropriate. Like my sister graduated 
from her from a, from a handicap school or whatever. I don't know what it, what you call it, but my my dad was just like, "Yo, I see how the retired people graduate." I'm like, "No, dad, I don't want to go with you. You're gonna be." He's like, "No, them not know, them not know." So we're sitting in the front row, and he's like, "Look at this one with a helmet. What? Am I gonna drive a car? He can't even right. So many retarded people. Like that, they can hear you. He's like, "Don't worry, they're all retarded." Like he's just, I'm like, "Dad, stop!" Like it was so it was so hard because I'm trying to raise my children. You know what I'm saying? My children are hilarious. I'm trying to raise them to look at their sister. You know, my sister, like, you know, not normal, but like, I didn't tell them anything. And as they got older, they're like, Mommy, why doesn't our aunt talk? And I'm like, She's a, she's different. And she's like, Why does she get on the ground and rock? I'm like, Hey, she's, uh, she's, uh, different. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to, I don't want to use that word anymore. I want the retarded word out, erased from the family. You know what I'm saying? And my dad walks in one time and I'm like, You know, she's a little different. He's like, Tell them the truth. She retarded. Yeah, auntie retarded. That was snow. I'm like, no, I don't want them to know. I don't want them to know. And, but uh, it, but it's weird. I, I remember um, uh, when I started <laughs> when I started going to nursing school, I thought like I wanted to work like in mental health, that kind of field. And um, it was so interesting because you know how when you before you start a job, you want to do like volunteer. <laughs> Like a volunteer work that's kind of related to the profession that you want to get into. And uh, 1998, uh, I started uh, Windsor. Yeah, University of Windsor, amazing. And um, shut up. Um, and <laughs> whatever. Uh, so like, I found this volunteer job, um, the distress center. It wasn't. I'm telling you, this was. It wasn't developed that properly. This, for the distress center. It's like you know when people who are depressed and stuff they call it, but they didn't develop this program properly. Like literally. Uh, it was a two-hour orientation. Like, that is not enough time to speak to people who are suicidal and depressed. And then what they did was so fucked up. Like, literally, they gave us two pieces of paper. Like, one paper had uh, a pay, like uh, a list of feeling words. So what you had to do was say the feeling word and repeat whatever, uh, exactly what they had to say. But he's like, don't fuck up the feeling word. I'm like, are you talking to me like that right now? You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody will call and be like, oh, my boyfriend left me. And you're, you'd have to choose a word. You're like, you feel sad that your boyfriend left you. <laughs> and they're like, correct. And I'm, we're like, don't they know? They're like, no, they're too depressed to know that people don't talk that way. I'm like, this is fucked up. Um, then there was another, uh, there was another sheet of paper that I swear to God, there, there was another sheet of paper that had uh, like a little paragraph that said, um, this is inappropriate right now. This is the, sh the distress center and I'm hanging up, right? Because there's people who would call in, like predators who would call in to get off on a conversation, which is so fucked up. And they had regulars that would call in. They had one, he was named the baby oil. He was named Baby Boy. What, what he would do when he's called in, he'd be like, oh, my dad used to beat me. And you're like, you feel sad that your dad used to beat you. <laughs> then he's like, then you would rub baby oil all over my body. And you're like, what? And then he's like, ugh. I'm like, no. <laughs> and they're like, you don't want to hear him win. Because <laughs> if you hear him win, it's good. That, so that's what it sounded like when he won. I'm like, no. And they're like, that, that was orientation hour number two. They're like, you're ready to take your first call. I'm like, no, I'm not. I think I'm a little traumatized. I think that's what's it. And then they're like, we're going to go in the next room and listen in. I'm like, why? And then I had the feeling words and, and, the, and, and, the, and the paragraph, you know, I had the paragraph right there and the phone was right in front of me. This is some ghetto ass shit. I'm pretty sure they changed this shit. Back then, you know, they don't know how to treat mental health people properly. So they advanced. So this shit must have been gone. There's no way they do this shit anymore. But... I had um, the phone in front of me and it rang and I'm panicking. I'm like, I don't think I'm ready for this shit. So I picked up the phone and I swear to God this happened. This guy was like, uh, I'm four minutes away from jumping off a bridge. Stop me right there, like right now. And I'm like, oh my God, I panicked. I threw the field. I don't know why I did this. I was just like, ah, I cleared the table. I'm like, I'm gonna do this myself. I'm smart enough to make up my own conversation. <laughs> Which, which was dumb, and then I like I, I think I you know it was stupid. I, I was panicking. I was like, "What's your favorite color?" <laughs> He's like, "What? Brown?" I'm like, good. We're off to a good start. Uh, but it was a it was a weird conversation. Yeah, you know, and you know I was panicking. They didn't give me enough training. Two hours is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I was pissed. And then, but uh, you know, I ended up staying on uh, the phone with him for an hour. Uh, he didn't jump. The police came and they they got on the phone. and They told him. You know, yeah, I, I say somebody like, I know, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I was pissed. They came in the room, they're like, oh, that was good, but next time, use the feeling words. I was like, fuck you, why don't you next time stay in the room, asshole? 
asshole. Why aren't you mouth shit to me? Like, what kind of fucking shit is this? And then I quit. I only have three hours at that job. But hey, I still use that shit on my resume. People are like, distressed, and I'm like, yeah, I saved a life. What's your favorite color? I'm like, what? Anyway, thank you guys.